Hey guys, it's Shade from Polygon Motion and welcome to this tutorial. At the first, I'm sorry about a late uploading of new tutorials on Polygon Motion. It has been a while that I didn't publish any new tutorial. I'm sorry about that, but now I'm coming with new tutorials on different topics. As you know, that on Polygon Motion channel, I will cover uh, different topics on motion graphic, graphic design, and UI and UX design. And in these uh, series of tutorials, I'm going to publish some short tips about UI and UX design and, and motion graphic as well. So, and these tutorials are short tips about a specific uh, tools and things that you might need of them while you're working on your project on different softwares, on After Effects, on a Sketch, on Photoshop, on Illustrator, or any other graphic software we will cover in this series of tutorials on Polygon Motion channels. In this tutorial, uh, that is going to be our first uh, tutorial on this series, tip number one, we will talk about a tool on Sketch. Uh, if you're familiar with Sketch, Sketch is an application on Mac that allows us to create and design UI and UX uh, for web uh, applications, for websites, for mobile application, and uh, on different platforms. So, in this tutorial, I will talk about a background blur uh, tool on Sketch that allows us to create blurness effect on our UI design. So, if you're ready, let's jump to it. You see background blur uh, style UI design in almost every application or, or in uh, iPhone and, and iOS uh, platform itself. You see some notification, you see some uh, background blurring effect that is very, very nice. And you see in here we have an uh, example of back uh, background blur for, for this button. And that creates a very, very nice uh, looking to your UI design. And in a sketch, it's very, very simple compared to creating this type of uh, effect on Photoshop or Illustrator, you have to just copy pasting some layers and then figure out and changing the values. But in a sketch, uh, the creators of a sketch give this ability to has to to people who are designing and using a sketch to create this kind of uh, blurness and and this kind of style with just one click and some tracks. So if you're ready, let's jump to it and uh, let's create this kind of effect. So at the first, I want to delete this. And we, you see that I have my image in here and a text. I, uh, simply, I go to uh, rounded rectangle and draw a rectangle in here. Very nice. I'm sorry. Very nice. And put this below uh, of this text and center it. Okay. And maybe just draw some lines in here to just approach centerness in here. Very nice because it's very simple. I don't uh, want to use grid. I just show you. I want to show you to how to use blur. So uh, now uh, with this shape selected, just go to uh, Gaussian blur. And here you see at the first one is Gaussian blur. You can you can add Gaussian blur in here. For example, you just blur the shape itself. You can add motion blur to it like this. You see this kind of it's also very important. And also you have uh, zoom blur like this to create a Chinese effect and you have background blur and uh, at the normal mode when you click on background blur you don't you don't see any changes in here because we have to go on fill uh, let me just change the bar and off this you have to go on fill and change the alpha of your fill in here as much as you just put the, this and decrease it you see the background blur for example if you want to see full background blur you have to put this in here and now I can uh, change the amount of blurness you see in here. You can increase it and put it like this. And also I can put this medium to see just f color and the background it's itself as well. And you see that it, it, it makes our UI design very, very nice and very cool. You can almost create this kind of things for all for all the shapes that you have on a sketch. For, for paths as well, for example, if I create a pattern here, maybe this kind of pattern. And simply, I can go to Blur and choose Background Blur and create a fill like this. You see that I can create for this as well and I can create for my border as well. You see that. 
and that is very nice so as a ui designer as a sketch user you have to know about this things and uh, you have to uh, use it uh, while you working on ui and ux project okay hope you guys enjoy from this tutorial and don't forget to check out uh, polygon motion courses on udemy with coupon codes that uh, i have put it on the right hand side and click on uh, there and get 50% coupons uh, on different uh, uh, polygon motion uh, courses on Udemy and uh, stay tuned with other tutorials my name is Itchy Shayer and see you guys next time <laughs>